tea ceremony is one of the pinnacles of traditional Japanese culture. The tea served at these gatherings is a powdered form of green tea called matcha. Besides its popularity as a drink, in recent years matcha has been finding its way into a variety of foods. Today we look at matcha and its place in Japanese culture. A millstone turns gently, slowly emitting a trickle of fine green powder. This is a form of tea known as matcha, which has been drunk in Japan for over 800 years. Eventually, it became an essential part of the tea ceremony. Matcha is not prepared in a teapot. The powdered tea is placed directly in the bowl from which it is drunk. Hot water is added using a bamboo scoop. Then it is stirred briskly using a tea whisk. Once the powdered tea is properly mixed with the water, it's ready to be drunk. The key to making matcha well is to ensure that the powder is whisked evenly and that there are no lumps. Tea bushes grow best in places with direct sunlight and on slopes that are well drained. However, in the plantations where the tea bushes for matcha are grown, screens made of reeds are placed on frames over the bushes, cutting out 70 to 80 percent of the sunlight. This is done in April, before the new leaves start to bud. Reducing the amount of light leads to the leaves developing a greater depth of flavour. The tea harvest starts in May. Each leaf is carefully plucked by hand, one at a time. Matcha is almost always made from the first leaves to bud early in the year. The tea that will be used in the tea ceremony is stored in special jars. In November, the jars are brought out of storage and opened. Celebratory tea gatherings are held to mark the occasion as the first tea from that year's harvest is served. In the world of the tea ceremony, this is considered months of storage. The leaves have lost their grassy smell and have developed a delicate, rich flavor. After being introduced from China, matcha began to be drunk in Japan during the 12th century. Widespread cultivation of tea began from the start of the 13th century. According to legend, the Buddhist monk Mioe planted tea seeds in the Togano district on the outskirts of Kyoto. In the late 16th century, the renowned tea master Sen no Rikyu developed the tea ceremony into the form that we know today. He applied his aesthetic to tea rooms, tea gardens, and the vessels used for drinking tea. This was also when greater emphasis was placed on the spiritual aspect of the tea ceremony. And thanks to the tea ceremony, Matcha attained a great status in Japan. This scroll from the Edo period depicts the elaborate parade that was held when tea was delivered to the Shogun's palace. The palanquins at the heart of the procession are carrying large urns filled with tea. It's an indication of the value that was placed on premium tea. This is a cafe that specializes in Japanese tea. Not just as a drink, but also in desserts and dishes flavored with matcha. In recent years, there has been a boom in shops specializing in Japanese tea. Here is an array of desserts all made with matcha. The unique fragrance and flavor of green tea seems to go well with dairy products. So it's perfect in Western desserts as well as Japanese sweets. Matcha was introduced from China, but over the centuries, the way in which it was grown and used was refined and developed, becoming a quintessential part of Japanese culture. 